Welcome back to part three of this tutorial. Uh, we can jump right in. I started with a simple eight by eight sphere and uh, tried to match the initial shape, cleaned up the top and bottom. I uh, decided to work on the outer and inner walls separately to add to the realism and tweak in some further detail. So I duplicated the mesh. Uh, scaled it down with Alt S, created a new object so I wouldn't go crazy with the, all the vertices in the way, and uh, started adding in detail. Here I'm working on a sort of pinch uh, that you can see in the middle of the bulb. Uh, this creates sort of a small holder to keep the inner filament in place. At this point, I started working on the lower part. I had to think about this for a while because uh, that meant a transition from a round object with those ridges on the side. And I wanted to avoid uh, creating too many loops to ruin the uh, roundness of the upper part while still having enough vertices to uh, define uh, correctly the lower half. The rest uh, is just uh, inserting uh, more loops manually and tweaking the position of all the vertices, cleaning up the mesh. I was uh, pretty satisfied at this point. Uh, all the details uh, were locked in and I was just working on the flow of the vertices. At this point, I cleaned up the last details uh, evaluated how everything would fit together, cleaned up the vertices and all the triangles I created earlier. At this point, I recalculated the normals, moved the camera to a suitable position and uh, hit up a couple test renders.